Hey, thanks so much for tuning in to the Daily Dose for Spirits of Growth. Today, our focus for our Praying for America. Again, we're doing this all month long until the 4th of July. Today, Thursday, June 16th, is this Pray for Unity. A survey of people in 17 nations found Americans the most likely to report their country was split among partisan and racial lines. 17 nations found in Americans. Wow. Okay, so a great passage of scripture to pray for unity is Ephesians chapter 4. We'll be reading six verses. And so I want this to be your prayer. And I want you to, um, if you are driving, if you are running, if you are um, distracted a little bit uh, as you are watching this, I want to encourage you afterwards to reread this uh, these verses here. Ephesians 4, 1 through 6. As a prisoner for the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. And just think about our country. Do we actually do that? <laughs> you know, but this is this needs to be our prayer. And this needs to be what we need to lead by example by doing. Verse 3. Make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. And that is the prayer that we need to be praying for the unity within our country. And it's the only way that we can do it is in Christ, um, that we would be unified through the body of Christ, that there wouldn't be this division, you know, and also too, when it comes to um, different uh, different types of churches, you know, we get so focused on what we're against and, and what, what the differences are. If you believe that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven and that you are saved by him through his blood on the cross, that's it. I mean, that's 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 key. That's foundational. If your church believes that, then hold on to that. Now, if they don't believe that, then that is not what the Bible describes as what the Bible describes is that there is only one way, and that is Jesus. Not there, not Jesus is a way. No, Jesus is the only way, the only truth, not a truth, the only truth, not a way, the only way. And so let's be praying for unity. Let's be praying that people would discover the truth of Jesus Christ and that we would lead by example and that we would bear with each other and that we would uh, lift each other up and encourage each other through prayer. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for another Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.